Hi everyone, Peter here. Just want to run through a few experienced a uh, oil pressure problem with a 1VD FTV, uh, obviously turbo diesel V8 Land Cruiser engine. There is a couple of, um, well, there's a couple of mechanical issues that they can have. Obviously, lack of service and etc. will cause problems. But from a mechanical point of view, having a Conrod bearing failure, if you've developed a knock on one particular cylinder, um, that we can run through on why. The, the start with you've got to realise with a 1VD, that's the standard bearing out of a 1KZ, that's out of a 1VD. You can see obviously a lot less surface area for, for the load to be put on, so they are quite a small bearing in relation to what they could be. So they are obviously going to be fairly sensitive to an oil pressure, pressure issue. The, if you have had a Conrad bearing failure, as I say, that's one, I'm not sure if you can see, it's worn through the first layer on the bearing. Obviously it will continue and get worse till it does eventually fail end up like that, spinning like that's a damaged rod, obviously this bearing came out of this particular rod, uh, the crankshaft's buggy, the crankshaft's for a throwaway, so um, that is a, a one you'd want to hope to avoid. The two main reasons, one is, um, well you can be very unlucky, that tube in the centre of the oil filter housing can come dislodged, get thrown away, it happens a lot, gets thrown away with the old oil filter, New oil filter put back in, you not notice because that's in the centre of the cartridge. Obviously, it's all black and people don't see it. What will happen then is the oil filter will, this is, relies on holding the cartridge uh, uh, filter open. That will then collapse and cut off oil. It's quite a common problem if people say uh, they've had a common oil bearing failure. I say, how long ago was it serviced? And they say 300 Ks. That's your issue. So be very careful. Every time you change one, it happens a lot. So that's that. But the other, from a mechanical point of view, the oil pump shafts in these things are bad, they wear quite a lot. So your internal oil pump gear will end up spinning on the shaft. They have two, but it drops the oil pressure off, then you end up with an issue like that. So if you have had a problem, um, you need to check to make sure that that shaft, if you just people just put a crankshaft in it and a rod and put it back together, without doing that, you're gonna have exactly the same problem. So they are prone to it, it's very easy to pick up on. I every time just put a brand new, brand new Toyota oil pump in every time without just chuck them away and put a new one because they're virtually all worn. That's going to turn into a big problem with these things in the future once they get a lot of higher Ks on and if oil isn't religiously kept clean, that will be an issue. As always, if you have a problem with one of these or if there's any way that I can help, please give me a call. Thank you.